as you can see, the dandelions are starting to bloom. What that means here is it's time to plant potatoes. So let's go let the girls out, cook some breakfast, and get our day started. So I want to walk over and fix one of the hammocks. When we got back this week, it was just lying on the ground. I also want to check on the onions that we planted last week, see how they're doing. When I say got back, basically we have five more weeks till we're here full time. We bought this homestead, geez, a little over a year ago, um, right before COVID hit. Ooh, there goes a huge bird. Look like a nice big hawk but so we bought it just before COVID hit and we sold our other house about nine months ago but we still had a work commitment up where we used to live um, until the middle of June coming up so we've been driving back and forth we head back on Sunday night and then drive back here Thursday night so we're here basically Friday Saturday and part of Sunday but June 10th it's officially we're done up there and we'll be moving here full time another book come in at the library so hopefully today I'll be able to spend some time on the hammock after we're done digging some potatoes or planting some potatoes be able to get on the hammock and do some reading let's walk over and check out the onions see if they made it through the week see if there's anything else that's popped up and growing can already see our chives are doing great. Rhubarb is jamming, and our leverage is doing really well as come back. So our leverage is doing awesome. Love to take that and mix it with salt to make a nice uh, additive to the for soups. Chives, rhubarb. We have some planted here and on the other side of the fence as well. I don't know if you can see, but we planted some sugar snap peas. They look like they're just starting to come up. Our garlic is doing well. Like I said, our garlic is doing really well. As well as the onions. They made it through the week, standing up. They're looking great so far. Three different rows, and then after that, we're going to be doing our potatoes. That's where the potatoes are going. Asparagus that we planted a few weeks ago is jamming out. It's time to refill those beds a little bit with dirt. Oh, beautiful. We have a, a mullein plant. Is really doing well. We've got three of them planted here. We found some more on the land that we're going to be transplanting. Mullen is one of those great herbs for respiratory health. 
that we like to use. Our blueberry plants. Oop, the nettle that we planted looks like it's taken, which is really good. We planted that this spring. We found it and transplanted it out, out here. Nettle is definitely one of my herbal allies. It really helps me a lot. I, uh, we dry it and make tea out of it all winter. We also pick it when it's young like that and, and um, cook and knead it like you do a spinach and it's delicious. Our blueberry bushes have started to bud out, which is great. Strawberries that we planted have all taken. Beautiful. These bushes are looking really good for the start of their second year. It's funny when the grass is just starting to turn green and grow in the spring, especially in the fields, it's like a dream. It's beautiful. I feel like you could just lounge around in it all day. Yeah, but if we did that, we wouldn't get much done, but it would be a fun day. So we've had breakfast and now it's time to start getting the uh, potato rows broad forked and dug for potatoes. doesn't matter because they're all over the place. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Um, I don't they, know. When they cut them, they would put them down, so those things facing up. So you face up? No, down. What? Hold on. What am I going to measure this with? Just eyeball? Um, here, I'll get you something. Give me one sec. I mean, these onions have definitely got bat banged, but they're good. Yeah, they definitely, yeah. You can you, see they're like bleached from the sun. Yeah. And yeah, they've had a little bit of a shock, but I think you're going to get that no matter what. Yeah. So, all right, I'm going to start moving this thing over. <laughs>
So we finished planting the potatoes. We have four rows of potatoes that we planted, plus we had some extras. We're gonna try a little experiment with them to see how they do planting them a little different way. What we did is we planted a row here, about 25, almost 30 feet long of katahdins, and then a half a row of katahdins as well, and then a half a row, row of Nicola, and then a full row of Nicola. Nicola is probably my favorite potato as far as flavor, and so I'm excited to see, and they're pretty hard to find. The only place we could find seed potatoes for Nicola was the main potato lady. And then we did one full row of Adirondack Blue. And the experiment we ran is we took, we had a bunch of Nicolas left, and we basically came over here and just put them down on the ground and put hay, or not salt marsh hay, on top of them. And we'll water them really good and see how they grow. We've seen people doing it where they can just basically put them on the ground and put hay on top and they'll grow within it. The other thing we have to do on these rows is in between is like we did here is put down cardboard and then wood chips. And then this garden, the rock garden, will be pretty much done other than one little corner down there to plant out. And then along that wall, we've started putting some raspberries and we just got to finish that up as well. Thank you for joining us as we planted potatoes on the homestead today. If you want to follow our journey, hit the subscribe button and leave us a message. We'd love to hear from you.